Overview. This comprehensive certification program in hypnotherapy and neurolinguistic programming, NLP, is designed to equip students with the knowledge, skills, and practical experience necessary to integrate these powerful techniques into their professional practice. The curriculum is structured to provide a thorough understanding of both hypnotherapy and NLP, focusing on their uses, benefits, and therapeutic applications. Program Structure Introduction to Hypnotherapy and NLP Definition and History Hypnotherapy Explore the origins, historical development, and foundational theories. Sources National Guild of Hypnotists International Hypnosis Association NLP Understand the inception, key figures, and evolution of NLP techniques. Sources Society of NLP NLP Global Standards Arias Introduction to the Reticular Activating System Fundamental Principles Hypnotherapy Conscious versus Subconscious Mind Theories of Hypnosis, Ericksonian, Cognitive Behavioral, etc. NLP Communication Model Presuppositions of NLP Representational Systems Visual, Auditory, Kinesthetic Techniques and Methods Hypnotherapy Induction Techniques Deepening Methods Therapeutic Applications, Regression, Parts Therapy, etc. NLP Anchoring Reframing Swish Patterns Meta Model and Milton Model Therapeutic Applications Hypnotherapy Stress and Anxiety Management Pain Relief and Management Behavioral Change Smoking Cessation Weight Loss Sleep Disorders Phobias and Trauma NLP Goal Setting and Achievement Enhancing Communication Skills Behavioral Change Techniques Performance Enhancement Sports Business Therapy for Phobias and PTSD Integration into Practice Ethics and Professionalism Ethical Standards Sources International Hypnosis Association National Guild of Hypnotists Client Confidentiality Professional Boundaries Business Considerations Establishing a Practice Marketing and Networking Legal and Regulatory Issues Advanced Topics and Specializations Advanced Hypnotherapy Techniques Medical Hypnotherapy Hypnotherapy for Childbirth Hypnobirthing Advanced NLP Techniques Timeline Therapy NLP for Personal Development Specialized Interventions for PTSD and Complex Trauma Practicum and Supervised Practice Clinical Practice Supervised Client Sessions Case Studies and Peer Reviews Feedback and Improvement Ongoing Assessment and Feedback Continuous Professional Development Certification and Accreditation Certification Requirements Successful Completion of Coursework Practical Competency Demonstration Case Study Submission Accrediting Bodies and Professional Associations National Guild of Hypnotists International Hypnosis Association Society of NLP Detailed Subject Breakdown Introduction to Hypnotherapy and NLP Hypnotherapy Definition and History Hypnotherapy is a therapeutic technique that involves inducing a trance-like state to access the subconscious mind. The practice dates back to ancient times, with roots in shamanistic rituals and practices. The modern era of hypnotherapy began in the 18th century with Franz Mesmer and evolved with pioneers like James Braid and Milton Erickson. NLP Definition and History Neurolinguistic Programming, LP, is a psychological approach developed in the 1970s by Richard Bandler and John Grinder. It focuses on the relationship between neurological processes, language, and behavioral patterns, and how these can be altered to achieve specific outcomes. 2. Fundamental Principles Hypnotherapy Conscious versus Subconscious Mind Understanding how the subconscious mind influences behaviors and emotions. Theories of hypnosis. Different approaches and theories, including Ericksonian, cognitive behavioral, and analytical hypnotherapy. NLP. Communication model. How people perceive and process information. Presuppositions of NLP. Foundational beliefs and assumptions underlying NLP techniques. Representational systems the five senses, and how they influence thought patterns and behaviors. 3. Techniques and Methods Hypnotherapy Induction Techniques 
Methods to guide a person into a hypnotic state, such as progressive relaxation, visualization, and eye fixation. Deepening methods. Techniques to deepen the hypnotic state, enhancing suggestibility and therapeutic effectiveness. Therapeutic applications. Practical applications of hypnotherapy for various conditions, including regression therapy, parts therapy, and age progression. NLP. Anchoring. Creating and using specific triggers to evoke desired responses. Reframing. Changing the way a person perceives a situation to alter their emotional response. Swish patterns. Techniques to change unwanted behaviors or thoughts. Meta model and Milton model. Language patterns used to challenge and reframe limiting beliefs. 1. Induction techniques. These techniques help guide a person into a state of hypnosis, making them more receptive to suggestions. Common methods include progressive relaxation, gradually relaxing each part of the body to induce a calm state. Start by asking the person to focus on their breathing, then progressively guide them to relax their feet, legs, arms, and so on. Visualization, encouraging the person to imagine a peaceful scene or place to facilitate relaxation. For example, you might ask them to picture themselves on a serene beach or walking through a beautiful forest. Eye fixation. Using an object or point for the person to focus on while suggesting that their eyes are becoming heavy, which can help them enter a hypnotic state. 2. Deepening methods. Once the person is in a light state of hypnosis, you can deepen the trance to increase suggestibility. Techniques include counting down, counting backward from 10 to 1, with each number deepening their relaxation, deepening imagery, asking them to imagine descending a staircase or elevator with each step or floor bringing them into a deeper state of hypnosis. Progressive relaxation, further guiding them to relax even more deeply by focusing on sensations in different parts of the body. Three, therapeutic applications. Hypnotherapy can be used to address various issues and conditions. Regression therapy, guiding the person to revisit past experiences or memories to resolve issues or gain insights. Parts therapy, working with different parts of the person's psyche, which may have conflicting desires or beliefs, to achieve internal harmony. Age progression, helping the person visualize their future self to address issues related to future goals, self-esteem, or long-term outcomes. NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming. 1. Anchoring. Anchoring involves creating a specific stimulus, anchor, that triggers a desired emotional or physiological response. Identify the desired state. Determine what emotional state or behavior you want to anchor, e.g., confidence, calmness. Choose an anchor. Select a physical gesture, word, or touch that will serve as the anchor. Anchor the state. While the person is experiencing the desired state, apply the anchor, e.g., touch their wrist, and repeat this process several times to strengthen the association. 2. Reframing Reframing changes the way a person perceives a situation, altering their emotional response. Identify the current frame. Understand the person's current perception or interpretation of a situation. Introduce a new frame. Offer an alternative perspective or interpretation that changes the meaning or emotional response. Reinforce the new frame. Help the person focus on the benefits or positive aspects of the new perspective. 3. Swish Patterns Swish patterns are used to replace unwanted behaviors or thoughts with more desirable ones. Identify the cue. Determine what triggers the unwanted behavior or thought. Create a replacement image. Develop a compelling mental image of the desired behavior or response. Swish the images. Visualize the cue image shrinking and fading while the replacement image grows and becomes more vivid. Repeat this process until the new image becomes the dominant response. 4. Meta Model and Milton Model These models involve specific language patterns for different purposes. Meta Model Used to clarify and challenge limiting beliefs and assumptions. It involves asking precise questions to uncover the underlying structures of a person's language and thought patterns. Examples include asking for specifics, what exactly do you mean, challenging generalizations always, and probing for evidence, how do you know that. Milton Model utilizes more vague and hypnotic language patterns to induce trance and facilitate change. It includes techniques like embedded commands, 
Placing suggestions within a larger sentence, as you continue to listen, you may find yourself feeling more relaxed. Pacing and leading, matching the person's experience, and then guiding them toward a desired outcome. You are sitting comfortably, and as you focus on your breathing, you may start to feel more at ease. Putting it all together. In practice, you might start by using induction techniques to help a client enter a relaxed state, deepen the trance with appropriate methods, and then apply therapeutic applications to address their issues. During this process, you can integrate NLP techniques such as anchoring and reframing to enhance the effectiveness of the therapy. Combining these tools effectively requires practice and an understanding of both the techniques and the client's needs. Tailoring your approach based on the client's responses and feedback will help you achieve the best results. Body language in communication. Effective communication extends far beyond the words we speak. Research suggests that body language constitutes approximately 57% of our communication, with tone, space, and distance between words making up another 36%. This means that nearly 93% of communication is nonverbal. As we speak, our brains process around 450 words per minute, but only about 150 are consciously expressed. The remaining 300 words manifest through our body language, revealing what we might consciously hold back. This nonverbal communication plays a crucial role in forming first impressions. Studies have shown that within just four seconds, people form judgments that influence how they perceive and interact with us. They decide whether they like us, find us intelligent, or want to do business with us, often based on nonverbal cues rather than what we say. This highlights the importance of aligning our verbal and nonverbal communication to make a positive impact. Understanding the Reticular Activating System, RAS. The Reticular Activating System, RAS, is a network of neurons located in the brainstem that plays a vital role in filtering and processing information. It serves as a gatekeeper, determining which information is allowed into our conscious awareness based on familiarity and relevance. When new information is introduced, the RAS may initially reject it if it doesn't align with pre-existing patterns or beliefs. However, with proper training and an open mindset, we can teach our RAS to accept and integrate new concepts. The RAS is often referred to as the ignition system of the brain. It helps regulate our level of consciousness, from waking up in the morning to maintaining focus throughout the day. The RES is also linked to brainwave activity, with alpha and beta waves originating from this system, influencing our thoughts, emotions, and behaviors. Programming the RES for success. One of the most fascinating aspects of the RES is its role in goal achievement. The RES acts as a filter between the conscious and subconscious mind, processing the instructions we give it. By deliberately programming the RES with positive affirmations, visualizations, and goal setting, we can align our subconscious mind with our conscious desires. This process increases our chances of success, as the RES helps us focus on opportunities and resources that support our goals. Napoleon Hill famously stated that we can achieve any realistic goal by consistently thinking about it and eliminating negative beliefs. The RAS obeys the dominant thoughts we feed it, whether they are positive or negative. Successful individuals often harness the power of the RAS by cultivating an open mind, embracing new experiences, and forming new neural pathways. This adaptability prevents the mind from becoming stuck in unproductive habits or comfort zones. Neural Pathways and Habit Formation Neural pathways are the routes along which information travels in the brain. These pathways are formed through repeated experiences and behaviors, solidifying habits and thought patterns. When we attempt to break an old habit or form a new one, we are essentially reshaping these neural pathways. It is estimated that it takes about 21 days to establish a new habit, allowing the RAS and the brain to familiarize themselves with a new pattern. While some neural pathways serve us well, others may hinder our growth, particularly in relationships and self-care. By consciously creating new pathways and clearing away outdated ones, we can foster personal development and maintain flexibility in our thinking and behavior. Expanding our neural network allows us to draw on a broader range of experiences and insights, enhancing our overall well-being. The power of nonverbal communication. Every action, no matter how small, communicates something to those around us. Often, 
People form impressions based on our nonverbal cues without fully understanding why. Our body language can influence others' perceptions of us, even when we are unaware of the signals we are sending. Developing the ability to interpret nonverbal communication is a valuable skill in both personal and professional contexts. By recognizing and understanding the true meaning behind gestures and movements, we can gain deeper insights into others' thoughts and feelings. This skill can also help us identify truthfulness or deception, leading to more effective communication and decision-making. To accurately interpret body language, it is essential to set aside instant judgments triggered by the RAS and view movements as indicators rather than conclusions. By doing so, we can ask the right questions and uncover valuable information that might otherwise go unnoticed. Conclusion The reticular activating system, RAS, plays a critical role in how we perceive, process, and respond to the world around us. By understanding and harnessing the power of the RAS, we can improve our communication, achieve our goals, and develop a more flexible and open mindset. In the realm of hypnotherapy and NLP, this knowledge is invaluable for helping clients break free from limiting beliefs, form new habits, and reach their full potential. Step 4. Therapeutic Applications Hypnotherapy for Stress and Anxiety Management Techniques to Reduce Stress and Manage Anxiety One Initial Assessment Objective Understand the client's specific stressors, anxiety levels, and overall health. Interview Conduct a thorough intake interview to gather information about the client's stressors, anxiety triggers, and current coping mechanisms. Assess stress and anxiety levels. Use self-report questionnaires or scales to measure the severity of their stress and anxiety, e.g., the General Anxiety Disorder 7, G87 scale. 2. Setting Goals Objective. Define clear, achievable goals for the hypnotherapy sessions. Collaborate. Work with the client to set specific, measurable, and realistic goals, e.g., reduce feelings of anxiety during public speaking or decrease overall daily stress levels. Develop a plan. Outline how hypnotherapy will address these goals, including the techniques and methods you will use. 3. Induction Techniques Objective. Guide the client into a relaxed and receptive state. Progressive Relaxation Describe. Instruct the client to focus on their breathing and progressively relax each part of their body. Implementation. Start from the toes and work upwards, or vice versa encouraging them to release tension as you guide them through each muscle group. Visualization. Describe. Lead the client to imagine a calm, peaceful place, e.g., a beach, a forest. Implementation. Engage all their senses in the visualization, asking them to describe what they see, hear, feel, and smell in this place. Eye fixation. Describe. Use a fixed point, like a pendulum or a spot on the wall, to help the client focus their attention and induce relaxation. Implementation. Suggest that as they focus on the point, their eyelids become heavy and they naturally drift into a deeper state of relaxation. 4. Deepening Techniques Objective. Enhance the hypnotic state to increase suggestibility. Counting down. Describe. Guide the client to imagine descending a staircase or an elevator. Implementation. Count down from 10 to 1 suggesting that with each number, they become more deeply relaxed. Imagery. Describe. Use imagery such as walking down a path or sinking into a soft, comfortable surface. Implementation. Encourage them to feel more relaxed with each step or each moment they spend in the imagery. 5. Therapeutic Suggestions. Objective. Address stress and anxiety through positive suggestions and reframing. Stress Relief Suggestions. Describe. Offer suggestions that help the client manage stress effectively. Implementation. For example, with each breath, you feel more relaxed and at ease. Stress is melting away from your body. Anxiety reduction suggestions. Describe. Provide suggestions to reduce feelings of anxiety and increase confidence. Implementation. For example, when you encounter a stressful situation, you remain calm and collected. You handle challenges with ease. Reframing. Describe. Help the client view stressors from a different perspective. Implementation. For example, instead of seeing this situation as a threat, 
you see it as an opportunity to grow and learn. Six, reinforcement and anchoring. Objective, ensure that the relaxation and positive responses are reinforced and can be accessed outside of the session. Anchoring, describe, create a physical or verbal anchor that the client can use to recall their relaxed state. Implementation, for example, suggests that pressing their thumb and forefinger together will help them feel calm and relaxed whenever they need it. Future pacing. Describe. Guide the client to visualize themselves successfully managing stress and anxiety in future situations. Implementation. For example, imagine yourself at a future event where you previously felt anxious and see yourself handling it with calm and confidence. 7. Awakening and follow-up. Objective. Bring the client back to their normal state of awareness and plan for follow-up. Awakening. Describe. Gradually bring the client back to full awareness. Implementation. Use suggestions like, as I count from one to five, you will become more awake and alert, feeling refreshed and positive. Follow-up. Describe schedule follow-up sessions to monitor progress and make adjustments as needed. Implementation. Review the client's experience, address any issues, and reinforce positive changes in subsequent sessions. Integration with other techniques. NLP techniques. Use anchoring. Integrate NLP anchoring techniques to help clients trigger a relaxed state or positive feelings when they encounter stress. Reframe. Combine NLP reframing techniques with hypnotherapy suggestions to alter the client's perception of stressors. Swish patterns. Apply NLP swish patterns to replace stress-inducing thoughts with calming ones. Behavioral techniques. Cognitive behavioral techniques. Complement hypnotherapy with cognitive behavioral strategies for addressing specific stressors or anxiety-provoking thoughts. By following these steps, you can effectively use hypnotherapy to manage stress and anxiety, helping clients achieve a greater sense of calm and control in their lives. Hypnotherapy for pain relief and management. Hypnotherapy for chronic pain and acute pain relief. Using hypnotherapy for pain relief and management involves guiding the client into a state of deep relaxation and using specific techniques to alter their perception of pain. Here's a comprehensive approach for applying hypnotherapy to manage both chronic and acute pain. 1. Initial Assessment Objective Understand the client's pain, its severity, and its impact on their life. Interview Conduct a detailed assessment to gather information about the pain's location, intensity, duration, and any related emotional or psychological factors. Pain scales. Use tools like the Visual Analog Scale, VS, or the McGill Pain Questionnaire to quantify the pain and track changes over time. 2. Setting goals. Objective. Define clear, achievable goals for pain relief. Collaborate. Work with the client to establish specific goals for pain management, e.g., reduce pain intensity from 7 tenths to 4 tenths, or increase comfort during daily activities. Develop a plan. Outline how hypnotherapy will address these goals and what techniques will be used. 3. Induction techniques. Objective. Guide the client into a relaxed and receptive state. Progressive relaxation. Describe. Instruct the client to focus on relaxing each part of their body. Implementation. Start from the toes and work up to the head, encouraging the release of tension. Visualization. Describe. Lead the client to imagine a peaceful, pain-free scenario. Implementation. Use detailed imagery, such as a serene beach or a gentle, flowing river, where the client feels completely at ease. Eye fixation. Describe. Use a fixed point to help the client focus their attention. Implementation. Suggest that as they focus on the point, their body becomes more relaxed and their pain becomes less noticeable. 4. Deepening techniques. Objective. Enhance the hypnotic state to improve pain management. Counting down. Describe. Guide the client to imagine descending a staircase or elevator. Implementation. Count down from 10 to 1, suggesting deeper relaxation and comfort with each number. Imagery. Describe. Use imagery to deepen relaxation, such as imagining themselves sinking into a soft, comfortable surface. Implementation. Encourage them to experience a sense of floating or drifting into deeper relaxation. 
5. Pain Management Techniques Objective Alter the client's perception of pain and enhance comfort. Analgesic Suggestions Describe Offer direct suggestions to reduce pain perception. Implementation For example, the pain is becoming less intense and you feel more comfortable as you relax deeper. Dissociation Describe Help the client separate themselves from the pain. Implementation Use suggestions like, imagine the pain is a distant object, far away from you. The further away it gets, the less it bothers you. Visual analgesia. Describe, use visualization to alter the pain experience. Implementation. For example, picture the pain as a color or shape. As you imagine it shrinking or changing color, the pain diminishes. Sensory manipulation. Describe, alter the sensory experience of pain. Implementation. For example, imagine the pain as a sound that is fading away, becoming quieter and less disturbing. 6. Reinforcement and Anchoring. Objective. Ensure that the pain management techniques are reinforced and can be accessed outside of the session. Anchoring. Describe. Create a physical or verbal anchor that the client can use to recall their pain relief state. Implementation. For example, suggest that touching their thumb and forefinger together will help them recall the feeling of relief and comfort. Future pacing. Describe. Guide the client to imagine themselves handling future pain situations effectively. Implementation. For example, visualize yourself experiencing pain in the future and using the techniques we've practiced to manage it effectively. 7. Awakening and follow-up. Objective. Bring the client back to full awareness and plan for future sessions. Awakening. Describe. Gradually bring the client back to their normal state of awareness. Implementation. Use suggestions like, as I count from one to five, you will become more awake and alert, feeling refreshed and positive. Follow-up. Describe. Schedule follow-up sessions to monitor progress and make adjustments as needed. Implementation. Review the client's experience, address any issues, and reinforce positive changes in subsequent sessions. Integration with other techniques. NLP techniques. Reframing. Use NLP reframing techniques to help the client view their pain differently and reduce its emotional impact. Swish patterns. Apply NLP swish patterns to replace pain-related thoughts with more positive or neutral thoughts. Behavioral techniques. Cognitive behavioral techniques. Complement hypnotherapy with cognitive behavioral strategies to address negative thought patterns related to pain. Mindfulness and relaxation techniques. Mindfulness. Incorporate mindfulness techniques to help the client stay present and manage pain. Relaxation training. Combine relaxation techniques with hypnotherapy to enhance overall comfort and stress management. By following these steps and integrating complementary techniques, you can effectively use hypnotherapy to manage and alleviate pain, improving the client's overall quality of life. Hypnotherapy for behavioral change. Applications for smoking cessation, weight loss, and other behavioral changes. Using hypnotherapy for behavioral change involves guiding the client into a state of deep relaxation where suggestions can be made to alter specific behaviors or habits. This approach is effective for various issues, such as smoking cessation, weight loss, and changing other unwanted behaviors. Here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to use hypnotherapy for behavioral change. 1. Initial Assessment Objective. Understand the client's current behavior, its impact, and underlying motivations. Interview. Conduct a comprehensive assessment to gather information about the client's behavior, triggers, and reasons for wanting to change. Set goals. Help the client set clear, specific, and achievable goals for behavior change, e.g., quit smoking within three months or reduce emotional eating. 2. Setting goals and expectations. Objective. Define clear goals and set realistic expectations for the hypnotherapy process. Collaborate. Work with the client to establish specific goals for the behavioral change, e.g., Decrease cigarette consumption from 20 to 5 per day or eat healthy meals regularly. Develop a plan. Create a structured plan outlining the hypnotherapy techniques and strategies that will be used to achieve these goals. 3. Induction Techniques Objective. Guide the client into a relaxed and receptive state. Progressive Relaxation Describe. 
Instruct the client to focus on relaxing each part of their body. Implementation. Start from the toes and move up to the head, encouraging them to release tension and become deeply relaxed. Visualization. Describe. Lead the client to imagine a peaceful, comfortable environment where they feel completely at ease. Implementation. Use detailed imagery to enhance relaxation, such as a serene beach or a quiet forest. Eye fixation. Describe. Use a fixed point for the client to focus on to facilitate relaxation. Implementation. Suggest that as they focus on the point, their eyelids become heavy and they drift into a deeper state of relaxation. 4. Deepening techniques. Objective. Enhance the hypnotic state to improve the effectiveness of suggestions. Counting down. Describe. Guide the client to imagine descending a staircase or an elevator. Implementation. Count down from 10 to 1, with each number deepening their state of relaxation and receptiveness. Imagery. Describe. Use imagery to deepen the trance, such as imagining themselves sinking into a comfortable surface. Implementation. Encourage them to feel more deeply relaxed with each step or each moment they spend in the imagery. 5. Behavioral change techniques. Objective. Implement suggestions and techniques to modify the client's behavior. Positive suggestions. Describe. Offer direct suggestions to support the desired behavior change. Implementation. For smoking cessation, you might suggest you find cigarettes increasingly unappealing and your desire to smoke is diminishing. Visual rehearsal. Describe. Help the client visualize themselves successfully engaging in the new behavior. Implementation. For weight loss, guide them to visualize eating healthy foods and feeling satisfied with their choices. Behavioral substitution. Describe. Replace the unwanted behavior with a positive alternative. Implementation. Suggest that when they feel the urge to smoke, they instead take a deep breath or drink a glass of water. 6. Reinforcement and anchoring. Objective. Reinforce the new behavior and create lasting change. Anchoring. Describe. Establish a physical or verbal anchor that the client can use to trigger the desired behavior. Implementation. For weight loss, suggest that touching their thumb and forefinger together will remind them of their commitment to healthy eating. Future pacing. Describe. Guide the client to visualize themselves successfully maintaining the new behavior in future situations. Implementation. For quitting smoking, help them imagine various scenarios where they choose not to smoke and feel confident and in control. 7. Awakening and follow-up. Objective. Bring the client back to full awareness and plan for ongoing support. Awakening. Describe. Gradually bring the client back to their normal state of awareness. Implementation. Use suggestions like, as I count from 1 to 5, you will become more awake and alert, feeling refreshed and positive about the changes. Follow-up. Describe schedule follow-up sessions to monitor progress and address any challenges. Implementation. Review the client's experience, reinforce positive changes, and adjust techniques as necessary. Hypnotherapy for sleep disorders. Using hypnotherapy to treat insomnia and other sleep disorders. Using hypnotherapy for sleep disorders involves guiding clients into a deeply relaxed state and using specific techniques to address issues such as insomnia, sleep maintenance problems, and poor sleep quality. Here's a structured approach for using hypnotherapy to help clients improve their sleep. 1. Initial Assessment Objective Understand the client's sleep patterns, issues, and underlying factors. Interview Conduct a detailed assessment to gather information about the client's sleep history, current sleep problems, bedtime routines, and any factors contributing to poor sleep. Sleep diary. Ask the client to keep a sleep diary for a week or two, noting sleep times, wake times, and any disturbances. Assessment tools. Use tools like the Pittsburgh Sleep Quality Index, PSQI, or the Epworth Sleepiness Scale to quantify the severity of sleep issues. 2. Setting Goals Objective. Define clear and achievable goals for improving sleep. Collaborate. Work with the client to set specific, measurable goals for sleep improvement, e.g. increase sleep duration from 5 to 7 hours per night or reduce the time it takes to fall asleep to 15 minutes. Develop a plan. Outline the hypnotherapy techniques and strategies that will be used to achieve these goals. 
Three, induction techniques. Objective, guide the client into a deeply relaxed and receptive state. Progressive relaxation. Describe, instruct the client to focus on relaxing each part of their body, starting from the toes and moving up to the head. Implementation, encourage them to release tension and become deeply relaxed with each breath. Visualization, describe, lead the client to imagine a peaceful, tranquil setting conducive to sleep. Implementation, use imagery of a calm beach, a quiet forest, or a cozy bedroom to enhance relaxation and create a sleep-friendly environment. Eye fixation, describe, use a fixed point or a soothing object to help the client focus their attention. Implementation, suggest that as they focus on the point, their eyelids become heavy and they drift into a deeper state of relaxation. Four, deepening techniques. Objective, enhance the hypnotic state to improve the effectiveness of sleep-related suggestions. Counting down, describe, guide the client to imagine descending a staircase or elevator. Implementation, count down from 10 to one, with each number deepening their state of relaxation and preparing them for sleep. Imagery, describe, use imagery to deepen the trance and enhance sleep readiness. Implementation, for example, guide them to imagine themselves sinking into a soft, comfortable bed or floating gently on a cloud. Five, sleep enhancing suggestions. Objective, address sleep issues through targeted suggestions. Sleep induction suggestions. Describe, offer suggestions to promote falling asleep quickly and improving sleep quality. Implementation, for example, you find it easy to drift off to sleep as soon as your head hits the pillow and you enjoy deep, restorative sleep throughout the night. Sleep hygiene suggestions. Describe, reinforce good sleep habits and routines. Implementation. For example, you feel relaxed and calm as you prepare for bed each night, following a consistent bedtime routine that signals your body it's time to sleep. Sleep association suggestions. Describe, Create positive associations with bedtime and the sleep environment. Implementation. For example, each time you lie down in bed, you feel a sense of calm and comfort, and your mind easily drifts into a peaceful, restful sleep. Six, reinforcement and anchoring. Objective. Ensure that the suggestions are reinforced and can be accessed outside of the session. Anchoring. Describe. Create a physical or verbal anchor that the client can use to trigger a relaxed and sleep-ready state. Implementation. For example, suggest that gently pressing their thumb and forefinger together will help them recall the feeling of relaxation and prepare them for sleep. Future pacing. Describe. Guide the client to visualize themselves successfully implementing sleep strategies in future situations. Implementation. For example, Imagine yourself going through your bedtime routine, feeling relaxed and easily drifting off to sleep. Seven, awakening and follow-up. Objective, bring the client back to full awareness and plan for follow-up sessions. Awakening, describe, gradually bring the client back to full awareness. Implementation, use suggestions like, as I count from one to five, you will become more awake and alert, feeling refreshed and positive about your progress. Follow-up. Describe. Schedule follow-up sessions to monitor progress and make adjustments as needed. Implementation. Review the client's sleep patterns, address any new issues, and reinforce positive changes in subsequent sessions. Integration with other techniques. Behavioral techniques. Cognitive behavioral therapy for insomnia, CBTI. Combine hypnotherapy with CBTI techniques to address cognitive and behavioral factors affecting sleep. NLP techniques. Anchoring. Use NLP anchoring techniques to help clients create and access a relaxed, sleep-ready state. Reframing. Apply NLP reframing techniques to alter any negative associations with sleep or bedtime. Mindfulness and relaxation techniques. Mindfulness. Teach mindfulness techniques to help clients manage racing thoughts and stress that may interfere with sleep. Relaxation training. Combine relaxation techniques with hypnotherapy to enhance overall sleep quality. By following these steps and integrating complementary techniques, you can effectively use hypnotherapy to help clients improve their sleep patterns and achieve a more restful and restorative night's sleep.
Hypnotherapy for Phobias and Trauma Techniques to Address and Alleviate Phobias and Trauma-Related Symptoms Using hypnotherapy for phobias and trauma involves guiding clients into a deeply relaxed state where they can address and reframe their fears or traumatic experiences. Here's a comprehensive approach to using hypnotherapy for these issues. 1. Initial Assessment Objective Understand the nature and impact of the phobia or trauma on the client's life. Interview. Conduct a detailed assessment to gather information about the client's phobia or trauma, including specific triggers, emotional responses, and the impact on daily life. Assess severity. Use tools like the phobia scale or the trauma symptom inventory to evaluate the severity of the phobia or trauma-related symptoms. Establish goals. Set clear, achievable goals for treatment, e.g., Reduce fear of spiders from a level 9 to a level 3 or decrease symptoms of PTSD. 2. Setting Goals Objective Define specific goals for reducing phobic reactions or trauma symptoms. Collaborate Work with the client to establish specific, measurable goals, e.g., manage fear in situations involving spiders or reduce flashbacks and improve daily functioning. Develop a plan Create a structured plan outlining the hypnotherapy techniques and strategies that will be used. 3. Induction Techniques Objective Guide the client into a state of deep relaxation and heightened suggestibility. Progressive Relaxation Describe Instruct the client to progressively relax each part of their body. Implementation Start from the toes and move up to the head encouraging the release of tension and fostering a state of deep relaxation. Visualization. Describe. Lead the client to imagine a peaceful and safe environment. Implementation. Use imagery like a serene beach or a quiet garden to help the client relax and feel secure. Eye fixation. Describe. Use a fixed point or a soothing object to help the client focus. Implementation. Suggest that focusing on the point helps their eyelids become heavy and they drift into a deeper state of relaxation. 4. Deepening Techniques Objective. Enhance the hypnotic state to improve the effectiveness of therapeutic suggestions. Counting down. Describe. Guide the client to imagine descending a staircase or an elevator. Implementation. Count down from 10 to 1, with each number deepening their state of relaxation and receptiveness. Imagery. Describe. Use imagery to deepen the trance and enhance the client's comfort. Implementation. For example, guide them to imagine themselves sinking into a soft, comfortable surface or floating on a cloud. 5. Therapeutic techniques for phobias. Objective. Address and reduce the phobic reaction through targeted suggestions and techniques. Desensitization. Describe. Gradually expose the client to their fear in a controlled, relaxed state. Implementation. Use imagery to gradually expose the client to their phobia, starting with less intense aspects and moving to more direct exposure, while reinforcing feelings of safety and control. Reframing. Describe. Change the client's perception of the feared object or situation. Implementation. For example, instead of seeing spiders as a threat, you can see them as just another creature, harmless and unimportant. Anchoring positive states. Describe. Create an anchor to help the client recall a state of calm when they encounter their fear. Implementation. For example, suggest that touching their thumb and forefinger together will remind them of the calm and confidence they feel during the session. 6. Therapeutic Techniques for Trauma Objective address and reduce trauma-related symptoms and emotional responses. Regression therapy. Describe. Help the client revisit and process the traumatic event in a controlled and safe manner. Implementation. Guide them to revisit the trauma while remaining detached and empowered, allowing them to reframe and process the event with new insights and emotional distance. Parts therapy. Describe. Work with different parts of the client's psyche to address conflicting feelings about the trauma. Implementation. Help the client communicate with different parts of their mind that hold the trauma, facilitating dialogue and resolution between these parts. Ego strengthening. Describe. Reinforce the client's sense of self and resilience. Implementation. 
Provide suggestions that build the client's confidence and self-efficacy, helping them feel more empowered and less affected by the trauma. 7. Reinforcement and Anchoring Objective. Ensure that the changes are reinforced and accessible outside of the session. Anchoring. Describe. Establish a physical or verbal anchor to recall the positive changes and feelings of safety. Implementation. For example, suggest that a specific gesture or phrase will help the client access their feelings of calm and confidence. Future pacing. Describe. Guide the client to visualize themselves handling future situations involving their phobia or trauma effectively. Implementation. For example, imagine yourself encountering a situation that used to trigger your phobia and see yourself handling it with calm and confidence. 8. Awakening and follow-up. Objective. Bring the client back to full awareness and plan for future sessions. Awakening. Describe. Gradually bring the client back to full awareness. Implementation. Use suggestions like, as I count from one to five, you will become more awake and alert, feeling refreshed and positive about your progress. Follow-up. Describe. Schedule follow-up sessions to monitor progress and address any ongoing issues. Implementation. Review the client's experience, reinforce positive changes, and make any necessary adjustments in subsequent sessions. Integration with other techniques. Cognitive behavioral techniques. Cognitive restructuring. Complement hypnotherapy with cognitive behavioral techniques to address and reframe negative thought patterns related to phobias or trauma. NLP techniques. Swish patterns. Use NLP swish patterns to replace phobic responses or trauma-related thoughts with more positive or neutral ones. Reframing. Apply NLP reframing techniques to alter the client's perception of their phobia or traumatic experiences. Mindfulness and relaxation techniques. Mindfulness. Teach mindfulness techniques to help the client manage anxiety and maintain a sense of calm. Relaxation training. Combine relaxation techniques with hypnotherapy to enhance overall comfort and reduce the impact of phobias or trauma. NLP. Goal setting and achievement. Strategies to set and achieve personal and professional goals. Enhancing communication skills. Techniques to improve interpersonal communication and relationships. Behavioral change techniques. Methods to alter unwanted behaviors and habits. Performance enhancement. Applications in sports, business, and personal development. Therapy for phobias and PTSD. NLP interventions for severe anxiety disorders. By following these steps and integrating complementary techniques, you can effectively use hypnotherapy to help clients address and overcome phobias and trauma, leading to improved emotional well-being and quality of life. Step 5. Integration into Practice. Ethics and Professionalism. Ethical Standards. Adhering to professional ethics and guidelines set by accrediting bodies. Client confidentiality. Ensuring privacy and confidentiality in client sessions. Professional boundaries. Maintaining appropriate boundaries with clients. Business considerations. Establishing a practice. Steps to start and run a successful hypnotherapy slash NLP practice. Marketing and networking effective strategies to market services and build a professional network. Legal and regulatory issues. Understanding the legal aspects of practicing hypnotherapy and NLP. 6. Advanced topics and specializations. Advanced hypnotherapy techniques. Medical hypnotherapy. Applications in medical settings, including pain management and surgical preparation. Hypnotherapy for childbirth. Hypnobirthing techniques to support a natural and stress-free childbirth experience. Advanced NLP techniques. Timeline therapy, a therapeutic approach to healing emotional traumas and clearing limiting beliefs. NLP for personal development. Advanced techniques for self-improvement and personal growth. Specialized interventions for PTSD and complex trauma. NLP strategies for dealing with severe trauma and PTSD. 7. Practicum and Supervised Practice Clinical Practice Supervised Client Sessions Hands-on practice under supervision to develop skills and confidence Case Studies and Peer Reviews Analysis and Discussion of Case Studies to Enhance Learning and Practical Application Feedback and Improvement Ongoing Assessment and Feedback Regular Evaluations to Ensure Competency and Growth 
continuous professional development, encouragement of lifelong learning and skill enhancement. Eight, certification and accreditation. Certification requirements, coursework completion, successfully completing all modules and assignments. Practical competency demonstration, demonstrating practical skills through supervised sessions. Case study submission, providing detailed case studies for review. Accrediting bodies and professional associations. National Guild of Hypnotists, standards and certification requirements. International Hypnosis Association, accreditation and membership benefits. Society of NLP, guidelines for certification and practice. Conclusion. This certification program in hypnotherapy and NLP offers a comprehensive education, blending holistic principles with evidence-based practices. By the end of this program, students will be equipped to integrate these powerful techniques into their professional practice, enhancing their ability to support clients in achieving optimal mental and physical well-being. Become certified in one of our 26-plus accredited holistic programs in as little as four to six weeks. Explore or learn more at holisticschool.online.